It happened in the autumn forest, where the trees constantly shed copper-coloured leaves and there's always a chill in the air. Amelia and I loved it there. It was heaven for our eight-year-old selves. Miles and miles of space to run around. Trees so tall and wide that we could chase each other and never be found. Let's catch it! When we were there, we became Nathan and Amelia, the prince and princess of the autumn forest. Except one day, when Amelia ran off without me. That was the first time I saw it. Amelia! It appeared as if from nowhere, staring at me. It, looked at its gigantic black saucer-shaped eyes. I did the only thing I could think of. I stared back. Hello? And I swear, it smiled at me. Because its crooked mouth opened to show long, thin, spiky teeth. And music came out. Music like I'd never heard before as if its teeth had transformed into a beautiful string instrument. The thing was a cross between an elephant and a camel, but three times the size, and it had four humps and webbed feet. It was deep, and I couldn't swim. And the water was dirty, dark and dirty, and I knew that if I returned home with my clothes ruined, I would be in big trouble. And then, something extraordinary happened. It lowered itself before me, gracefully. And it stared at me as if to say, come on, climb up. I couldn't believe it. The elephant camel with webbed feet and music for a smile was swimming with me on its back. Fish jumped out of the water and birds sang. so hard I dug my nails into its flesh because I was so high and the ground was so far away but the thing didn't seem to mind I couldn't see the other side of the bank until we were almost there 
From my place high on the thing's back, it looked like sand. Miles and miles of white sand. But it wasn't sand. And it wasn't autumn anymore. It was cold. There was ice everywhere. Thick ice and snow. And that's when I realized I was in the winter forest. <laughs> 